Yes. The oh, built-in. This is again. the one that really sells it, I think. Mm. Yeah, this is actually bigger than I've been remembering. Are you interested enough to make an offer? Y yes. Yes. Okay. There's no easy way of... <laughs> Phil, Phil, and, Phil and I are like, you tell, you tell, you okay, tell. Okay, someone else has already put an offer in of... Uh, no. <laughs> Basically, what's happened is that, A, someone else saw it on Saturday yeah. and made an offer yeah. below the asking price. Mm -hmm. and this is the crunch. The was, the original asking price was 150. Yeah. It's now. It the asking price has gone up to 159. Since Saturday? Since Saturday. Right. The other people have obviously been aggressive and decisive. Mm -hmm. They've seen the offer. They've seen the place on Saturday. They knew we were looking at it. They Saturday. put in an offer They're first thing on Monday away morning. With an offer. That to me shows a dedicated, committed purchaser yeah. who we are now in the frame. Who we're competing with. Competing yeah. with. So I think 155 would really scare the horses for this one because it, it's well in excess of what the other people have offered and it's reasonably near the new asking price. So let's try and... The thing I'm thinking it's now is that if the other people are aggressive, we're going to get aggressive, they might think there and go, ooh, two aggressive punters. Let them fight off and we'll just sit back and count yeah, the money. Yeah, that, that, that may be the case, but they're the ones with the house. David, hi, it's Kirsty again. Hi, um, we're pr I mean, Fiona and James are very keen on this and, and, and they're coming straight in with an offer of 155. Okay. Okay, thanks, David. Okay, bye. Okay, the other people are also first-time buyers who have also got their finances in order. They have come back to David with a second offer, which is also below the new asking price. He did say one thing. He said, look, if I were you, I realise that every penny that they save on, the, on this house is key, mm -hmm. but if I were you, I'd go straight in at the asking price and, I, and, I, and you know, Otherwise, the likelihood is that you're not going to get it. I suspect that this scenario will go to sealed bids. That's my gut feeling. Well, but then we're not going. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing it again. We'll do. With it us <laughs> on your, by your side. That you didn't have us with you last time. We're the sealed bid, secret <laughs> sealed bid weapon. We can do it. Believe me, I have never lost a sealed bid in three years. Oh. Despite all the problems, Parkside is still the front runner. It's very close to their horse and has great views of the Surrey Downs. However, we now have a rival bidder, and to cap it all, the Sheehan's new offer of 155,000 has just been rejected. Time to retreat to our hotel and draw up a new battle plan. Yeah. Should it go to sealed bid, we've got to come up with a plan. You've just said we don't you, you're happy to go to, to one. We don't want it to go to sealed bids, but it's a nature of a, of a seller's market. It's an efficient way of selling property, and if you were selling that house, I think the chance are you put it to sell bids. The reason we always say that the golden rule is that you must have your finances organised is because you could come across this very scenario. Sealed bids have to be handled properly. Your bid should be properly presented. Make the offer an uneven figure. Also, enclose a letter from your bank confirming you have an easily available deposit and enclose confirmation of your mortgage offer. As far as we're concerned, we win sealed bids. Right. And if the other people are not sitting in this hotel lobby, <laughs> listening to all of this <laughs> <laughs> advice that yes. we're freely giving out, <laughs> then, you know, we might be OK. We suspect that both parties have offered 155,000. So our slightly high-risk strategy is to do nothing and force the other party to show their hand. If all goes according to plan, we'll then top their offer avoid a sealed bid scenario and win the property. But we keep going to viewings just in case. It's really seductive, this house, because mm -hmm. they've, they've got great furniture, they've done it up in a really nice way, it's all great, but it's actually not that different, apart from that field at the back, yeah. from Parkside Park side, Cottages. Yeah. And it's £65,000 more, more expensive. That's and it true. wouldn't cost you £65,000 to make Parkside yeah. Cottages as nice, if not nicer yeah. than this. So this is a no? No. It's a no? It's a no. It's a no. 
We've got to know. Before the Sheehan's deal starts to take shape, let's see what other properties are on the market this week. In the heart of Manchester's buzzing, fashion-focused northern quarter, this loft apartment is spacious and beautifully designed. It's on the market at £185,000. This duplex penthouse with its superb open views of Nottingham Castle and the park to the rear is spacious with a good-sized lounge and separate study. It could be yours for £184,950. In the historic village of Walkworth, this Grade II listed stone building boasts views towards the river and its own courtyard and balcony. The asking price is £150,000. This huge house has five ensuite bedrooms and two self-contained flats. Lying in its own grounds in Galloway, West Scotland, it invites offers over £165,000. And finally, this 18th century building in France is light and spacious with a south-facing mature garden. It could be yours for £145,000. Shortly before we all hit the sack on the final day, the phone rings. It's the estate agent on the line, and it looks like our bluff has worked. The other party has shown their hand first and offered £155,000. I'm told they won't be going any higher. Uh, the other couple are going to hold fire right. at, uh, at that level. Mm -hmm. Um, are, are we higher than them at the moment? You're, you're both at 105. Is, there a, is there a sum of money that would um, close it down entirely and yeah. avoid any continuing negotiation? Um, it's entirely up to you. But, um, mm. you know, I think there is scope to maybe agree something now. Uh, that you feel that there would be? I think there would be, because this other couple have indicated they won't go up. Well, I'll go and have a word to them now. Have a chat with them. And, and put that and across. And let me know. Yeah. yeah. OK. OK. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so Hi, team. Hiya. Hello, Phil. Hello. I'm doing where you are. The other purchaser who wants the cottage is not, at this time, increasing their offer. We like the other purchaser at this point. Now, that's certainly no guarantee that they that situation will remain or that they won't do it. My reading of the situation is it's time to do the deal. Yeah. And to offer them, offer the vendor what they're asking. Asking price. Go for it. OK. We're united. Let's do it. Brilliant. Thanks. Bye. How about that? Fantastic news. Fiona and James's offer on Parkside Cottages has been accepted. James and Fiona waited and waited for the vendor at Parkside Cottages to find somewhere to move to. But eventually, Phil and I had to advise them to look elsewhere. It's really important to set a time scale. Know how long you can wait, and when the time's up, be brave. Cut your losses and move on. The good news is, that James and Fiona did find somewhere else, and they moved in yesterday.